All right, now in this example, I want to show how you can create detailed threaded features using a helical cut sweep feature. This is something that you'll commonly encounter in revolve type parts, maybe in hydraulics or in the oil field industry. And what we'd like to do here is create a 12 pitch V thread along this area here. To begin, we first need to create the helix curve. And this is initiated by drawing a sketch and the sketch just simply needs to consist of a circle. A convenient location for this sketch will be the end face of the part. So I'll insert a sketch and uh, the circle that I want to draw here can be easily made just by taking the outer edge of my nominal diameter and using the offset entities command. Let's enter in an offset of 51 thousandths which is a standard uh, thread depth for a 12 pitch V thread and then we just need to make sure that the direction of the offset is correct. I want to offset that to the inside of my nominal diameter. That looks good. So now with this sketch entity selected I will now choose insert curve helix to begin the helix creation. The helix curve dialog appears and I can define the helix either by any combination of height, pitch, or revolution. I know the height or length of my threads and I know the pitch. The pitch will be a 12 pitch so I'll enter 1 divided by 12 hit enter and let SOLIDWORKS do the math for me. Now I can see that the direction is wrong so I'll flip the direction. We need to enter the, the length or height of the threads as well. I know that my overall engagement is a little over two inches so I'll enter say about two and an eighth. That looks pretty good. Finally I'll want to enter in my start angle. By default it's showing up as 45 degrees. Now this is a number that I can pick as a matter of convenience. I happen to know that the front plane of my part bisects the part vertically so it would be convenient to have my helix start intersecting the front plane which would be 90 degrees. Now that places the start point down at the, at the uh, up at the top aligned with the center plane of the part. And as a last uh, last couple options you can choose either a clockwise or counterclockwise option and you can choose to taper the helix if you wish. Now that the helix curve has been created we now need to attach a profile to the end of that curve which will then form the basis for our cut sweep. Looking at the model in a front view we'll want to go in and sketch our V thread profile so that it attaches to this outer edge of the helix. Now this can be done just by creating a sketch and drawing your profile. However, in the case of, of commonly used threads, you may want to draw those threads and store them as blocks into your design library. And that's what I've done. I've got a simple V-thread profile stored as a block into my design library so that now I can simply drag and drop that item into my front plane and that becomes my sketch entity. Now it's very easy for me to just drag and drop that onto my helix piercing it into place so that it's locked into position already with the correct depth. I can now exit the sketch mode and I'm ready at this point to take my sketch profile and sweep it along the helix curve. So we'll choose the swept cut command. The profile will be our v-thread sketch and the path will be our helix curve and we can accept the rest of the defaults. Now before we proceed I want to make note of a couple things. Let's look at this in a side view. In this example the the pitch of the thread is uh, 1 12th which is exactly the width of my profile. Now that's something you may want to be careful with because if the profile were any wider than 12 pitch then the sweep would probably intersect itself and you might get a rebuild error. The second thing I want you to notice is that the v-thread profile itself has been drawn a little bit longer than it needs to be. That is, it's extending out beyond the nominal diameter. That's, uh, a, in general, a good technique in that you want your profile to extend out into the air just a little bit rather than trying to hug the exact diameter. It's much easier from a computational standpoint and will help you in uh, getting a little bit faster rebuild time. So now let's accept our cut sweep you will notice that the rebuild time will increase on this feature. The helical cut feature is probably one of the more complex geometries that can be modeled in 3D. So expect your rebuild times to increase. However, the result is a true helical 3D thread. And when we look, in the, look at that in a section view,
we can see that SOLIDWORKS has done a really nice job on creating those helical threads. So the helical cut feature, the cut sweep using the helix, uh, helix path, it's a very complex feature. Use it with caution, but it will give you great results.